banana smoothie and day 26. So this is a quarter cup of sugar, uh, five bananas, pretty big bananas if you know what I mean, uh, three strawberries, about a half a cup of frozen blueberries, um, 400 or 500 milliliters of water, and a thing called uh, rhubarb compote, which is just rhubarb stems cooked in sugar and water, and uh, pretty tasty. So this is it. So if you got class, all you gotta do, put your smoothies in there, take them on the go. Easily done, easily done. Ultimate fast food. Next to ripe fruit, just have it in your hand. Make a smoothie. A lot of calories, last you all day. Look, I know they say it's cool, Told your backpack like this, but it ain't cool for your posture. So, do your posture a favor. Put on both straps. You on? So, what you want to do? Is you want to eat lunch? Bring it to class. Easy on the go. You'd even take it slacklining with you. You can always teach your Lakewood pure pineapple juice to slackline. It'll work every time. Except for this time. <laughs> so sitting here in the gutter with the Manga Mobile getting fruited up. I just had a conversation with a couple of really good friends of mine, but it was more, it was more like a complain fest because we were complaining that you know the, the teacher does, is all of a sudden doesn't give a fuck, other people in the class don't give a fuck, so feel, we feel like our money's being wasted, our five thousand dollars a semester, whatever it is, tuition that we pay, and we come prepared is being wasted. Then I think, why? What's the? There's no point in complaining. There's no point in complaining. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, you can vent, you can rant, whatever. But at the end of the day, just moving on. Look at dogs. Dogs don't complain. Yeah, they whine and whatever. But when a dog knows it's not going to get its food, really knows, they just move on to what they're doing. Because they know they realize that there's no point in dwelling on it. There's other and more important things to do. So in my case, there's more important things to do. Putting my energy towards helping you achieve the goals that you want. Helping myself achieve the goals that I want. So, at the end of the day, just do what you love. Love what you do. Make everything you do intentional. Make every action intentional. So, a bit bittersweet moment, end of the semester. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna keep chowing down. Enjoy the sunset, and we'll see you for dinner. Do you ever get that feeling that you did the wrong thing, that that guilt is building up in you, like fuck, I should have done. You know when somebody in front of you drops something, and you're close enough to pick it up. But you don't, because you don't want other people to be like, oh, what's he doing? You just want to stay in your seat and don't pick it up. Somebody's coat drops or they drop something, you know, insignificant and you just don't do anything. I mean, that used to be me. I used to not do anything. Um, almost fell on the bike. <laughs> but then I realized, you know, I don't like that feeling. I don't like the feeling of, wow, I should have really done something. I should have, you know, said fuck it and just help the person out when they needed help instead of let my ego get the best of me and so all I'm saying is that just follow your heart whatever your heart says follow it if that says whatever I don't need to t you already know this you know we were taught it in kindergarten preschool whatever our parents taught it our foster parents our dog taught us 
just be the change you fucking want to see. Like I was saying before, my friends and I, I found I found that we were complaining about our professor. And I said, hold on, guys. We're not 